Well, Matt Vey, uh, if we can just maybe begin this with a little bit of reflection of last year, your first year in North America, a pretty successful year in the OHL. How did you feel like it went for you? It was actually an awesome season for me, you know, like, I just came to Canada, like, and, like, I mean, it's it's hard to think about, like, that it's, like, different hockey here, you know, and, like, to, like, to change, like, minds, it's, like, that, that was pretty hard, but, you know, like, that, that was, like, pretty good season for me, I mean. Now, you put up 40 goals. Uh, how much did that kind of boost the confidence? Uh, is there something that maybe clicked along the year where you felt like you belonged in that league? Like, you know, I just... I would say like thank you so much for my partners you know like they just give me a puck and like every like every game I just shoot a puck like every shit I try to score a goal and like because I got like 40 goals you know what I mean. Uh, what's been what's the week been like for you so far rookie camp and how much are you looking forward to first game tonight? Oh uh, it's actually like I think a little nervous like before the first game uh, it's actually so important turning for me and like for uh, the team you know and uh, yeah, it's going to be good for tonight. I can probably understand why it's an important tournament for you, but in your words, why is it important to get off to a good start tonight for you? Uh, you know, it's like the second year in North America for me, and obviously it's like it's going to be like tough season for me for sure because it's like the second year, and like everybody looking for you, and like you need to show something like I just want to be here, you know. And uh, I need to show something. Did you just start working on your English? It's excellent. Like how how hard have you worked on it? Uh, obviously, I'm when I came to Canada like one year ago, I didn't know like English language, and that was like pretty tough. Like the first two year, two months, I mean. Yeah, and like day by day, just improving my English and like not bad right now. Watch TV, get it through t TV, or yeah, it's like listening just radio, or like TV show, like Edmonton Oilers podcast. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. What was your favorite show to watch? <laughs> <laughs> not, not on the podcast. I'm talking TV show. Uh, actually, uh, actually, I just just want to show like I just want to uh, like I don't know like actually. That's all right. No worries. Uh, Mafe, how would you describe just kind of what you guys have gone through this week, having that opportunity yesterday to go to Duncan Keith's house? Maybe just talk a little bit about the camaraderie that you guys have kind of built over this week. Yeah, that was like, I would say, like, thank you so much, Duncan Keith, like, to invite the, his like, house. That was awesome time. That was unreal, like, space. And, like, that was actually a pretty good experience to be there, you know. And, like, I think it's, like, we got, like, pretty good roster in this tournament. Uh, so it's going to be good. How would you describe the intensity on the ice and maybe what you guys have kind of focused on in uh, the first two practices here? Uh, we just uh, we just focused on the power play and PK. I mean, then like the forecheck and the back check. So it's like simple playing hockey probably. Now, Matthew, I might be wrong, but observing you on the ice, you're pretty animated. You like to have a lot of fun on the ice. It seems like... You're very comfortable uh, in your second year here in North America. Is that something fair to say? And where did that comfort come from? Uh, you know, like I'm learning English. That's a big part. And like I think, like it's you need a smile on the eyes because it's pretty big part. And, like on the eyes, you need a big emotion. Like if you're like sad and like you don't have like you you cannot like make some goals or something like that. You know.